In this module, we will go over navigation of the platform. We will cover how to access sites, data sets, export files, reports, survey timelines, measurements, and map layers. Welcome to Propeller U. After logging into the platform, the home screen appears. Starting in the top left and moving clockwise, this contains the name of the company's portal. The home button returns to this screen from anywhere in the platform. The arrow points tab opens the arrow points dashboard with access to arrow point flights and information. The data processing tab lets users upload new data sets and check the status of any data sets currently processing. The support tab provides access to our 24 seven chat support, along with links to the propeller knowledge base and the most recent updates about the platform. In the upper right is the name of the account currently logged in. Clicking the name will open a drop-down menu and clicking any of the options in the drop-down menu opens a screen with the following categories. My Profile lets users update and edit information related to their account. Portal Settings update the portal name, information, and branding. At the bottom of this menu, there's an option to remove demo sites from the portal, reducing clutter on the portals with numerous sites. People in Teams adds new users and edits permission for existing users and groups. Sites and Access is where users edit permissions to specific sites in the platform by user or group. Notifications updates user preferences for email notifications. Labs gives access to options like duplicate GCP detection, merging models, and drag and drop functionality for TopCon GC3 calibration files. Licenses and Usage shows the active license, sales representative, customer success engineer, drone registration, and the number of credits used. Plans redirects to the Propeller website where more information about purchasing different licenses or add-ons can be requested from our sales team. The map screen provides an overview of the currently active sites in the portal. This display will change based on the distances between sites up to a global view. Create new site adds new sites to the portal. Finally, the list of sites in the portal. These are organized alphabetically by default, but can be organized based on the creation date or date last updated. Clicking on the name of a site opens that site's page. Again, starting in the top left and moving clockwise, this contains the name of the currently selected site opens a dropdown for switching back and forth between sites without having to return to the home screen. The name of the current dataset opens a dropdown that navigates between different datasets organized by the date of creation. The Files menu provides access to downloading files that can be used in external programs like Trimble Business Center, 3D Office, or AutoCAD. Clicking this opens a window with the following categories. All files lists all files available for download. 3D model is a triangle-based polygonal model available in three different resolution settings. Orthophoto is the final result of the photos from the survey stitched together into a single geo-referenced image. This is available in a full GeoTIFF image in the site's coordinate system in WGS84, as well as compressed JPEG images in the site's coordinate system. Point Cloud is a 3D model of the site based on point data, available in three different resolutions. Shapefile is a CZML file of the ground control and checkpoint locations along with a polygon boundary of the site and GeoJSON format. Terrain is the GeoTIFF image of the digital surface and terrain models. Like the ortho photo, these are available in WGS84 and the site's coordinate system. 
Contours is a DXF line file containing the topographic contours of the site and one or two site-specific survey unit increments. The Reports menu provides access to the stockpile, measurement, and processing reports. The Stockpile and Measurement Report options open a new screen with a print preview of the report, while the Processing Report opens a separate dashboard within the platform. For more information, check out our video on how to use and interpret measurement and processing reports. The Share button allows editing permissions for the site, similar to the Site and Access menu covered earlier. The Settings dropdown provides configurable options for viewing the platform like the background base map with the option of a roadmap, satellite imagery, a combination of both, or no background. Camera transitions, which controls whether the camera smoothly glides to a new location or instantly transitions to a new view. Limit camera helps prevent losing sight of the data set when moving or rotating the camera. Geolocation layout switches between northing, easting, and elevation, or easting, northing, and elevation. Site settings opens the site settings dashboard. About contains the platform build date and information about the user's system. A full screen button that will change the user's browser to full screen mode for more viewing area. The home button resets the view of the site to its default. This can be very useful after rotating or zooming in and on the site. Navigation tools are for users that do not have access to a mouse. This lets the user rotate, tilt, and zoom in on the site for different perspectives. Export PDF Map creates a quick PDF export of what the user is currently viewing on the map screen. Coordinate system information, along with northing, easting, and elevation of the cursor's current location. The Timeline Viewer tab lets a user move back and forth between historical surveys to show a site's progression over time. Photo Viewer is where individual photos of the survey can be shown. On the Site Settings dashboard, various options for the site can be configured. Highlighting the site name and clicking the three dots will bring up a dropdown that lets users go to the site page, add a data set, share the site, rename the site, and delete the site. Selecting Delete Site displays a pop-up window that requires the user to type in the site's exact name before allowing deletion. Basic information contains the industry selected at site creation and the closest postal code for the site. Coordinate System opens two separate dashboards depending on the coordinate system chosen at site creation. A site created with a local coordinate system shows the calibration file used and the transformation info of that file. It also allows a user to enter a test point to check the calibration. Sites created in a published coordinate system show the currently selected horizontal and vertical datums along with the survey unit. These can be changed, but will adversely affect the historical accuracy of the datasets. People and Teams is another location to edit permissions to the site. Site Materials lets a user define specific materials based on name, internal ID number, density, and value per ton. These numbers are used to calculate the value of stockpiles based on volume measurements. Finally, we have the Crew, Designs, Surveys, and Measure tabs. The Crew tab gives access to Crew. Crew is a paid add-on to the platform that allows users to generate a customized mobile map of the site and send links to contractors, foremen, superintendents, and any relevant field personnel. If you're interested in purchasing or trying a demo of Crew, please contact your account manager or customer success engineer. 
The Designs tab lets users upload and manage design files like surfaces and line work to compare their flight data against. The Survey tab allows users to turn on and off different layers in the survey, like the point cloud or elevation map, and perform terrain cleanups for smoothing out survey areas. The Measure tab allows access to point, line, and polygon measurements and comparisons against historical data and uploaded design files. Check out our video, Using Different Measurement Types, to learn more about each of these categories. In this module, we learned how to navigate the platform, including how to access sites, data sets, export files, reports, survey timelines, measurements, and map layers. Thanks for watching. For more information, you can read the supporting documentation for this module or check out our knowledge base, help.propellerarrow.com.